Imagine seeing inside the human body without x-rays or surgery. That's what ultrasound does. It uses sound waves to create images of our organs, tissues, and even a developing baby in the womb. This incredible technology has revolutionized medicine, allowing doctors to diagnose and monitor various conditions safely and effectively. Ultrasounds are painless and safe, making them ideal for a wide range of patients from expectant mothers to individuals experiencing abdominal pain or heart problems. By emitting high-frequency sound waves and analyzing their echoes, ultrasound machines provide real-time visualizations, aiding healthcare professionals in making accurate diagnoses and treatment decisions. The impact of ultrasound on modern medicine cannot be overstated. Its versatility, safety, and ability to provide real-time imaging have made it an indispensable tool in hospitals and clinics worldwide transforming patient care across various medical specialties. An ultrasound machine might seem complex, but it's really a sophisticated echolocation device. Just like bats use echoes to navigate, ultrasound machines use sound waves to see inside the body. Let's break down the main components. One, the transducer. This handheld device is the heart of the ultrasound machine. It sends out sound waves and receives the echoes, acting like both a speaker and a microphone. Two, the central processing unit or CPU. Think of this as the brain of the machine. It processes the echoes received by the transducer and transforms them into images on the screen. Three, the transducer pulse controls. These controls allow the technician to adjust the frequency and intensity of the sound waves emitted by the transducer, optimizing the image quality for different body parts. Four, the display. This is where the magic happens. The processed echoes are displayed as moving images, providing a real-time view inside the body. 5. The keyboard and cursor. This allows the technician to interact with the machine, entering patient information, taking measurements, and adjusting image settings. 6. The printer. Once the images are captured, the printer allows for hard copies to be made for the patient's medical records or for further analysis. The transducer is the most crucial part of the ultrasound machine. It's responsible for sending out sound waves and receiving the echoes that create the images. Inside the transducer are piezoelectric crystals, which vibrate when an electric current is applied to them, generating the sound waves. When these sound waves encounter different tissues within the body, they bounce back as echoes. The transducer then picks up these echoes and the machine analyzes the time it takes for them to return, their strength and their direction. This information is then used to create a detailed image of the internal structures. The transducer acts like a window into the body, allowing us to see the organs, blood vessels, and tissues beneath the skin. The quality of the images depends heavily on the type of transducer used and the skill of the technician operating the machine. Just like a carpenter needs different tools for different tasks, Ultrasound technicians use different types of probes depending on the body part being examined. Each probe is designed to produce the best possible images for a specific area and depth. The three main types of probes are linear probes. These probes have a flat surface and emit sound waves in a straight line, making them ideal for visualizing structures close to the skin, like muscles, tendons, and blood vessels. Convex probes. These probes have a curved surface, which produces a wider beam of sound waves. This allows for a larger field of view, making them suitable for examining deeper structures like abdominal organs. Endocavitary probes. These probes are designed to be inserted into body cavities, such as the vagina or rectum. They provide a closer and more detailed view of organs like the uterus, ovaries, and prostate. Choosing the right probe is crucial for obtaining accurate and informative ultrasound images. Experienced technicians carefully select the most appropriate probe based on the patient's anatomy and the clinical question being investigated. Section 5. Linear Probes – Visualizing Structures Close to the Surface Linear probes are the go-to choice for examining structures that are located close to the skin. Their flat surface allows for excellent contact with the body, and the sound waves travel in a straight line, 
providing clear images of superficial structures without much distortion. These probes are commonly used for musculoskeletal imaging, examining muscles, tendons, ligaments, and joints for injuries like tears, sprains, and inflammation. They are also used for vascular imaging, visualizing blood vessels to assess blood flow, identify blockages, and guide procedures like biopsies and catheter placements. Additionally, nerve imaging, evaluating nerves for signs of compression, damage, or inflammation, aiding in the diagnosis of conditions like carpal tunnel syndrome. The high-frequency sound waves emitted by linear probes offer excellent resolution, allowing for the identification of even small structures near the skin surface. This makes them invaluable tools in various medical specialties, including sports medicine, rheumatology, and vascular surgery. Section 6. Convex Probes – A Wider View for Deeper Insights When it comes to examining deeper structures within the body, convex probes take center stage. Their curved surface allows them to produce a wider beam of sound waves, providing a larger field of view compared to linear probes. Convex probes are particularly useful for abdominal imaging, visualizing organs like the liver, gallbladder, pancreas, spleen, and kidneys to detect abnormalities such as tumors, cysts, or stones. Pelvic imaging, examining the uterus, ovaries, and bladder in women, and the prostate in men, aiding in the diagnosis of conditions like fibroids, cysts, and prostate enlargement. Obstetric imaging, monitoring fetal development during pregnancy, assessing fetal growth, and detecting any potential abnormalities. While convex probes may not offer the same level of detail as linear probes for superficial structures, their ability to image a wider area makes them indispensable for evaluating deeper organs and tissues. They are commonly used in gastroenterology, urology, and obstetrics. Section 7. Endocavitary Probes – Getting Up Close and Personal Sometimes getting a closer look is necessary for a more accurate diagnosis. That's where endocavitary probes come in. These specialized probes are designed to be gently inserted into body cavities, providing a closer and more detailed view of internal organs. Endocavitary probes are available in different shapes and sizes, each optimized for a specific cavity, such as transvaginal probes, inserted into the vagina to examine the uterus, ovaries, cervix, and fallopian tubes, aiding in the diagnosis of conditions like endometriosis, pelvic inflammatory disease, and infertility. Transrectal probes, inserted into the rectum to evaluate the prostate gland in men, helping to detect prostate cancer, enlargement, and other abnormalities. Transesophageal probes, inserted into the esophagus to obtain clear images of the heart, particularly its valves and chambers, assisting in the diagnosis of heart valve disorders, blood clots, and other cardiac conditions. While endocavitary ultrasound may cause slight discomfort, it is generally well tolerated and provides invaluable information that would be difficult or impossible to obtain with external probes. These specialized probes play a vital role in gynecology, urology, and cardiology. Section 8. Ultrasound in Action Applications in Healthcare Ultrasound's versatility and safety have made it an indispensable tool in various medical specialties. Its applications extend far beyond pregnancy monitoring, playing a crucial role in diagnosing and managing a wide range of conditions. Here are just a few examples of how ultrasound is used in healthcare. Cardiology. Evaluating heart function, identifying valve abnormalities, detecting blood clots, and guiding procedures like cardiac catheterization. Gastroenterology. Visualizing the digestive tract, diagnosing liver diseases, detecting gallstones, and performing biopsies. Musculoskeletal, identifying muscle tears, tendinitis, ligament injuries, and joint effusions, guiding injections, and monitoring healing progress. Urology, assessing kidney stones, evaluating prostate health, and guiding biopsies. Emergency medicine, rapidly diagnosing internal bleeding, evaluating trauma patients, and guiding procedures like draining fluid collections. The list goes on. Ultrasound's ability to provide real-time images without radiation exposure makes it an invaluable tool for both diagnosis and treatment guidance across numerous medical disciplines. Section 9. The Future of Ultrasound – Advancements and Innovations Ultrasound technology continues to evolve at a rapid pace, with ongoing advancements pushing the boundaries of what's possible. These innovations are enhancing image quality, 
expanding applications, and improving patient care. Some of the exciting developments in the world of ultrasound include 3D and 4D ultrasound, providing more detailed and realistic images of the body, enhancing fetal imaging and improving diagnostic accuracy. Contrast-enhanced ultrasound, using micro-bubbles injected into the bloodstream to enhance the visualization of blood vessels and organs, aiding in the diagnosis of tumors and vascular diseases. Fusion imaging, combining ultrasound images with other imaging modalities like CT or MRI, providing a more comprehensive view of the body and improving surgical planning. Artificial intelligence, AI, using AI algorithms to analyze ultrasound images, automating measurements, and assisting in diagnosis, potentially improving efficiency and accuracy. As technology continues to advance, ultrasound will undoubtedly play an even more significant role in healthcare offering new possibilities for diagnosis, treatment, and ultimately, improving patient outcomes.